I got an unknown number phone call just now. I was like, oh, who this would be? I'll better answer it. Just, you know, and I said, hello. And I heard the guy at the end of the room, hello. I went, hello. And he went, hello. And I'd have to say, hello again. And I hung up. <laughs> uh. Hello and welcome to New News. This is all the news you need to know about and all the new games that have released this past two weeks since we skipped last week. Since I was a very, very sick boy. <sighs> Mr. Lee, it's you're how not, are you? It's because you're an Aussie, mate. That's a problem. Oh, man. I got the Aussie head cold of doom. <laughs> I'm still trying to get over it. Head cold of doom. Like, when people talk to you at work and they go, oh, how's XYZ doing? And the first thing you do is cough in their face. <laughs> you know? COVID. COVID. Uh, and then... <laughs> yes. Just like that. <clears throat> yep. So how are you? Apart from... From getting some PowerShell work. I oh, mate, I PowerShell today. It was beautiful. How good is it? It works, which is kind of the point, I guess. PowerShell Things is the ha- future. So I've been messing around with my calendar doing this. I've been testing on my calendar, thinking oh, it doesn't matter if I fill my calendar up with crap because I'll just delete it, um, rather than doing a normal person's calendar who will just complain a lot. And I, yep. literally, I literally get like half a dozen invites to something. I have no idea what this is. but So I ran it. When it worked, it removed 74 items from my calendar. <laughs> it's yeah. like, and I was like, it's worked. I looked at my calendar, it was all empty again. I was like, oh, right. It all looks clean and proper again. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, yes. Yeah. So <laughs> that's that was good. fantastic. Yeah, yeah. And I'm down to my last, my last, all my PCs are now built, all MDT, they're all ready to go. I had 36 machines, or no, 37 desktops. Man. And they've all been done. And I'm, I'm putting out my last two tomorrow for that office. And then that's awesome. That's it. And a laptop. Which laptop I can do at any time because everybody really, there's auditors in the office currently, so they're busy. The, the accounts people, uh, yeah, they're like, no, bad laugh. no, don't come near me. I'm busy. I'm like, okay, cool. Okay, fine. I should we'll keep come your later. laptop then. Fine, whatever. <laughs> I'll just be over here with the new one. <laughs> the new shiny one. Take the take the new one. I'll just be here with the new one. <laughs> it's when you start licking it. That's when they don't like it. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, they might just ask for a new one <laughs> if that happens. Uh, yes. No, it's been good. A good day. Actually, fixing stuff is nice when it finally works. Yeah. It's taking me a week to get and, this PowerShell working. Man, yeah, no PowerShell. Once you get PowerShell working, though, it's really good. Mm. Man, I'm gonna show you some of the PowerShell I've had to write recently. <laughs> I've started saving PowerShell, which is really bizarre. I never used to save it. I used to just run the command, and then move on with my life. And then if, <laughs> I, and if I do it again, I'll just Google it and find it again. But now I've actually gone. I should probably save these commands. They're quite handy. Man. Yeah. You know, you got to have a PowerShell repository, put it into OneDrive. Oh, God. Comment yeah. your PowerShell scripts. Yeah. I've got about 90 PowerShell scripts I can share with you that are pretty good for getting up and running quickly. Oh, yeah. No. I do see it's all up and running. It's not that. It's actually kind of maintenance stuff I'm looking at. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because I don't well, go I mean, to new customer sites. I just go and hang out and do stuff. Just go hang out at a, at a place. At a place, do things. And they're like, what's going on? Why aren't you leaving? <laughs> no, that's right. Are you here? Are you here for morning tea? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty good, you know, stuff's happening. Right, we seem yeah. to have a reasonable amount of news. We do. We have a lot of news and we have a lot of games because we've missed a week. So we might and have so... to do an editorial as we go, whether we care or not about the story. Because I've just dumped them all in because I couldn't, I couldn't actually be bothered to check them all. Okay, so read the headline and then we'll then do we like a, a yay or nay. Okay. If, if people are watching us on Twitch, they could also like jump in and be like... Yes, if you, if you agree or disagree, if you get really excited. Or if you want to yeah. chuck more stories at us, probably won't yeah, do that. Yeah, definitely. Them, you can go for it. Okay, let us begin. Let us begin. Okay, so we have the chart, because why not? Do we think it's changed much? We haven't done it for two weeks. Do you think it's changed much? No, I think nothing's changed in the top, like, ten. Wait a minute. So what has happened, though? Number one is Ooh. Modern Warfare. Number two is oh, yeah, Black okay. Ops Cold War, because no oh, one knows yes, I've any different. games. And Grand Theft Auto Five has gone from six to number three. Oh, I was about to get excited. I, I thought, know you were. Wait a minute. Something's it's happening. gone down, but no, it's no, gone, it's gone up. up because of Game Pass. Uh, and it pushed Fortnite amazing. down a place. Uh, what's well, interesting? I something has to push Fortnite down. At but some what's point. what's interesting? Something we didn't do last week. Outriders is at number five, and it was oh, at number yeah, five okay. last week as well. Huh. Um, Outriders is doing really well. It is doing really well. It's it's cool. So, it's nice because you can just jump into it and do stuff. There's, there's so much to do. You can just jump in and have a quick blast and kill things. Yeah. So you, you're enjoying Outriders then? I'll take it. Yes. Yeah. It's good. I want people to play with though. No one really wants to play with me. One guy, me- I messaged one guy who was playing, so I messaged him trying to jump in his game, and he says, you, are you level 30 yet? I was like, no, I'm level 12, I think, at the time. 
He's like, when you're level 30, see me, and then we can play. It's awesome, this game. I was like, okay. <laughs> so I think that's Endgame. He's playing Endgame at level 30, and I'm at level 15 <laughs> now, so. Uh, he's basically like, when you're no longer a noob, yeah. let me know. When you have gear that actually is legendary, <laughs> got all the blue stuff, whatever color it is. Yeah. Uh, that's amazing. Yeah. But it was very good. He said it's very good. I'm very excited by it. He said, this is awesome. I'm so much, so much fun. Because he plays all the time. I was like, why? I want to play with you too. You, know, <laughs> you should have said, can't you drag me through? Yeah, yeah, no, he wouldn't. I think he was playing endgame stuff, though. I couldn't even, because oh. what you can do is you can join people. And I tried and it failed. And then he messaged oh, me and yes. says, are oh, you level 30? I was like, no, he's like, come back when you're level 30. Because there's a whole bunch of raidy sort of strikey things you do at the end. Okay, so anything else interesting in the charts? Down to 20? No. Red Dead 2's at 20. Destiny's still at 2. Destiny 2 is at 12. Uh, Dude. Okay, wait. When Halo comes out, do we think that these charts are going to be upset in a big way? I I really hope so, because it will be day one. Yes. Yes. Will it knock off GTA Five though? Oh, cold. If it doesn't, right, then I think Microsoft have a problem. <laughs> yes, especially a game that's day one Game Pass, and it's basically you've paid for it because who's not on Game Pass? Yes, and basically, is Halo after how many years since Halo yeah. Five came out in what twenty thirteen? Oh, was it really day one, was it, or week what, year one, was it, with uh, OG Xbox One? It was very close, 2013, 2014, somewhere there, I'm sure. Don't quote me on that. Have you played it yet? Hello 5, not yet. Yeah, it's interesting. Nor have I. No, it's interesting. I do intend to um, complete. I'm going to do three. Once this month completes, I might just do three. Oh, man, three is really good. And then three OTSD, and then I'm oh. done. I've done the wall, so I can then do five. Three was so good that I'm trying to convince Simone to skip ODST no. and jump straight into four, and then we can come oh, back. Oh, I know, but four's so good actually. I really like four. I really enjoyed four. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, four was fun. So, it was good. So you're saying ODST is a like a, a nice stop? Gap. It's supposed to be really good. Yeah, yeah. People rave about it. Yeah. People rave about Halo two, but I found Halo yeah. three to be just amazing. Awesome. I want to play Halo three, but I'm trying to not to because of this achievement challenge. It hurts me. Uh, Halo three is a quick game, and you'll get like what at least twelve achievement points. Or 12 achievements pop? It's a time issue, though, because I feel I can get these little hour or two-hour games or get 1,000 points, whereas Halo will be 10 hours and maybe 50 points or 100 points. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Zombie Army 4 Dead War is a new entry at 23. What is yes. this game? Is this a, this a game for gold game? No, this is a... It came on Game Pass. Um, Did I the developer is very pro Xbox, which is quite cool. Huh. Rebel Lorf. Rebel Lord? He's, um, yeah, you chat to the guy on Twitter, and he's very pro Xbox. He's very upfront about why it, the Xbox can do certain things that competing things cannot. That's very good. Um, Minecraft Dungeons Reentry at 29. I do like that game. It's such a cool game. You've never played that game, have you? No, not yet. I find it so weird. It's such an easy game just to jump in and shit, especially multiplayer. And Skate, yeah. Skate 3 is a reentry at 40. Interestingly, Cyberpunk 2077. Drops from 24 down to 39. I thought with the new patch, the 1.2 patch, they should have um, they should get a lot more people involved because it really smooths everything out. Yeah, I don't think they fixed it enough, though, still. I, don't th- I still think this patch is as good as everyone says it's going to be. Well, 1.2 has been really good so far. It's got heaps of bug fixes. People are still disappointed. I was reading something about it last week, week four, saying it's just still not 100%. It's still not great. It's, also, it's all right, but not what it should be. You still feel a bit beta sometimes. Well, yeah, CD Projekt Red have said that they're going to be throwing resources at this game like there's no tomorrow. And there's still no one playing it on PlayStation. Uh, yes, well, Sony pulled it from their store. I know, but still, like, it's quite a major game to be not there. Uh, let's charts. let's move on. Okay, so some games leaving uh, March 31st, which was two weeks ago. So they've probably left, I suspect. Which uh, games have you left? Journey of the Savage Planet. Uh, I'm pretty you, sad about that one. Did you not play that? Did you? No, I no, didn't jump okay. in because I didn't want to. I didn't want to be in the situation of wanting to finish it and then having to buy it. <laughs> like uh, Hyperdot, no, and Machinarium, which I think I recognise for some reason. Have all left. Oh yeah, that one was supposed to be a nice, quick, easy thousand points. Ah, a PC it left on PC, so maybe on console yeah. still. Maybe we'll have to wait and see. Yes, Journey of the Savage Planet is fun though. It's good fun. So yeah, this looks game's like left. a fun game. No, that's a pity. Yes. Next story. That was quick and short because there wasn't much information. Oh, this is quite cool. Play Bethesda games on Xbox Game Pass Ultimate and win these custom controllers. 
Did you see these controllers that came out? Ah, uh, yes, the um, Bethesda ones. Yeah. They look awesome. Really cool. I like the way they? they've got it all together. Got it all like, together. Yeah. In the, in the crate with the the hay. What's it? The straw? What? Oh, yes. It's cr- there's a crate here. I see. I don't see the straw, though. No. That's weird. The display was fantastic. It's on a crate. It's actually on the crate. So what's funny is you win all these controllers. All of them. You win the April contest will give you the full set of seven customized controllers, valued about four hundred dollars a set. Yeah, so that's the five nice. players who rack up the most achievement points while playing Game Pass Bethesda Software Collections. That's twenty games in all, including Fallout, yeah. Skyrim, Doom, and all kinds of other stuff. It says here. Interesting. Kinsman, dude, come on, get on this. Uh, competition plus those games on Xbox. So don't try and double up on the PC version uh, until the thirty first of April. We've got. Yeah, so get on that. Since we're halfway <laughs> get on that, point. yes. Get on that. There's tons, yeah. There's, so the different ones are there's a Dishonored, a Prey, a Doom, Wolfenstein, Elder Scrolls, Fallout, and Evil Within. That's different designs. They're pretty sweet. Yeah, look fantastic. Yeah, good work. Uh, Games for Gold in April. Yeah, another disappointment. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. Although Vicious Attack Lamb Apocalypse is there. Yeah. So I was looking at this game for the achie- April Achievement Challenge because oh, yeah. there's one achievement that gives you a 1,100 true achievement score. Wow. Yeah. No one has this achievement yet because you have to kill 200,000 llamas. Oh, okay. You can't spam it. You can't just sit there spamming llama. Yeah, so there's there's two levels in which you just spam the llamas, but it still takes about six hours. Yeah, 1,000 points just doesn't work out, no. Yeah, but it's a good true achievement sort of um, TA difference game. Uh, yeah, I imagine the TA is quite good on it, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Vikings Walls of Midgard, um, Truck Racing Championships, Dark Void, Hardcore Uprising. Of know. those games, probably the, the Vicious Attack Llama Apocalypse is the one I'm looking forward well, to. Well, that's last month. So that actually runs out on the 15th of April. That was last oh. month. Yeah, so that was. But this month is a shocker. Yeah, there's not much coming this month that's exciting, is there? No, not at all, no. Uh, oh, yeah, so this is, I've got this article here from The Verge. A first look at Xbox running Discord and Google Stadia in its Edge browser, browser hmm. which is quite interesting. So basically, you can do Stadia on your Xbox. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So funny. Um, For the three people that subscribe to Stadia? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, uh, but Discord in there is interesting. So I wonder if it sits in the background. I don't think so, because I think the way the Edge browser on Xbox works is that it it tombstones it and closes it. Ah, I see. It does say you can join voice calls and participate in text channel chats. Microphone is not supported as of yet, it says. Uh, But this is early, isn't it? This is on the alpha builds, maybe? It's quite early on, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Um, Yeah, and then you can play, obviously you can play like Cyberpunk. (laughs) Probably a decent version of Cyberpunk. It's probably the best version of Cyberpunk (laughs) on Stadia, bizarrely enough. Um, mm. And it does recognize your controller as well. Yeah. Uh, it says it works really smoothly. Steam multiple games using the service. Xbox controller automatically detected. Um, they also tried to use the NVIDIA GeForce Now streaming. Um, but NVIDIA seems to be blocking the agent, Edge users agent string currently. So you can't play. Mm. That's a pity. Stinky. Uh, the Office web apps all work as well. Oh, that's pretty cool. So you can, do, so... You can, you can use your Xbox as a tool, a, game, a work tool. Yeah, you can I use can your Xbox in Excel, finally. It it's what we've always wanted. We can take it to work and just... <laughs> what are you doing? I'm doing Excel spreadsheets. <laughs> <laughs> what was that explosion sound? It was me. I was so happy. Uh, uh, yes. So that's be cool. Not, I don't know what I'll use it for, but it'll be cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't, I don't, I've never used the browser. I find I go to the browser accidentally when I click on the Ubisoft Connect and it takes me to the browser. Yeah, every so often the I'm browser like, pops up and you go, Ugh. Why? And then I notice the last four things I looked at was something I didn't want to look at anyway because it's kind of stuck <laughs> still. Yep. Um, it's amazing. Brew beer, brew beer Brewing Simulator Game is exactly what it sounds like. So someone has brought out a game where you brew beer. Good on them. Good effort. Well done, guys. Yep. I... <laughs> I don't know. How do you taste it? You know, well, that's what I'm going to work out. It's all very well brewing a beard, beer and then having all the right ingredients and then going, oh, yes, it tastes really good, your sim person says. But... Well, your sim person says, I don't like this one. And you go, well, what beer do you like? You know, <laughs> it so could picky. be fantastic beer and you're just, you know, you don't have the palate for this one. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, maybe you need to mix it more with your hot chips than yeah. It's so bizarre. Uh, it's so hot bizarre. Chip simulator. But... Hot chip simulator. <laughs> that's what we're really hanging out for. 
Um, Call of Duty Warzone Season 2 Reload Patch finally nerfs the AUG. So this is um, a pat- a 50 gig patch. Oh, yeah, typical. A 50 gig patch. Just in case no one heard me say that in the first place. Yeah, it's a bit insane. Um, although, oh, so that's for PC and PlayStation and PlayStation 5. Meanwhile, Xbox and Series X people get a 60 gigabyte cap patch. Hmm. Thanks, guys. Thanks, um, Call of Duty. We're special. Yeah, I don't. Uh, so Polygon dot com has a whole list of stuff. Yes, and there's lots of stuff, but not fifty gigs, sixty gigs worth though. But hey, yeah, I don't know what they do in this game, but the patches and the game itself is massive. I think it's two hundred gigs or something. Well, you can if you want to play the last three or something. They don't fit on the Xbox anymore. You play Black Ops, Call of Duty, Warfare for the free for the uh, Warzone, and if you want to play Black Ops, they don't fit on your Xbox anymore or your PlayStation. Oh man, that's amazing. Yeah, so look out for the massive patch that's coming. that will use yep. up all your internet. Hmm. Luckily, I don't play these games. <laughs> um, so there's some Xbox, original Xbox and 360 games arrive into the Microsoft xCloud streaming service. This is actually quite cool. So the backwards compatible games that are coming up to xCloud. Yeah, which is quite cool. Yeah. Uh, Viva Pinata. Ah, oh, yes. Viva just in Pinata case you all want tip. That... <sighs> Uh, just want that game, you know? I mean, sometimes you just want to smack a pinata about on your phone. Uh, Jetpack Refueled. What the heck is this? I don't know. But Fallout New Vegas is quite cool. And Elder Scrolls Three Morrowind. Yes. Yeah, so I thought that might catch you a little attention. And Banjo-Kazoo. I don't know what that is. Doesn't sound Banjo-Kazooie. Right. Kazooie, yes, that's the one. And actually, banjo Tuli is a... <laughs> Did oh, you know there was another one? Uh, uh, Double uh, Dragon Neon Fable 2. Well, Gears of War oh, yeah, 2 Fable and 3. Two. Nice. Some Gears on your phone is always good. Yeah, Fable 2 for Simone to play. Gears Judgment, uh, Perfect Dark, Perfect Dark Zero. So just a quick point. Did you, yeah. in 2002, when you first, did you ever play Morrowind? Uh, no, did not, no. Oh, man. So in 2002, would you ever have thought that like a game like Morrowind would be available on your phone? <laughs> just play on your phone, yeah. Or available on the internet to play on any just... device you like. Just streaming from the magic, the magic (laughs) Wi-Fi. The magic internet place (laughs) in the sky. (laughs) Like, you have to play Morrowind. It is so good. You'll play Morrowind, and then you'll play Oblivion, and then you'll play Skyrim, and then you'll go, why didn't they just remake Morrowind? Well, maybe they can now. I hope so. Have they ever remade any of their games, like, properly? Other than Skyrim, but that doesn't really count because <laughs> I was about to point to the twelve different I know. versions of Skyrim. As I was talking, I said it, but they're only on the new one, haven't they? They've never actually done any of the old games and remastered. They're missing a trick. Yeah, now. they are missing. Imagine a trick. doing all all five of them as one game. You just start at the beginning and go through. Yeah, and that'll be fantastic. <laughs> People would just stop at Morrowind because Morrowind is awesome. Ah, okay. Morrowind is just the best. Oh, there's an update to a very quick one. Elder Scrolls Online is getting an update called the Blackwood Chapter, update 13, June 8th, and it allows ESO to run natively on the Series X and PlayStation. Ah, yeah, that's the new um, the new graphics. The new graphics, yeah, the update, yeah. yeah I've awesome. actually did, I should have clicked on the link. I shared the tweet about it, not the actual link about the with the story. Ah, yes, rookie mistake. Rookie mistake, that's right, yes. Uh, what is console enhanced? Ooh, it's a free upgrade. It's exciting. Ooh. Uh, improve, improve, improve visual fidelity, performance on the machines, uh, 60 FPS, increased oh, draw fun. distance, unlock textures, update the anti aliasing, improve, improve reflections. Ooh. Improve reflections. It could be quite pretty. I think it's going to be extremely pretty. Yeah, I'm just reading through now because I didn't actually read the article previously. Yeah, and those are ad- addition, improvements and additions are coming as well. They're calling it ESO colon console enhanced, is the name. Oh, That's good. fantastic. There's a whole article on it. So, oh, there's actually elderscrollsonline.com is the website I'm looking at. It's got a whole bunch of information on it here. Oh, who would have thought? I know. Look at that. Look and go straight to the source. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> <sighs> That's funny. Okay. Uh, oh, yes. Xbox Game streaming app, streaming app is now live on Windows via a sneaky download. Yeah. Have you done? I haven't actually done this. I just thought it was quite funny. I haven't done this either. But I did use this site that it talks about. You can put the apps... URL into the site and it gives you all the Apex files. I've used that quite a bit recently. APKs? No, A A P P X Apex. Oh, okay. That's what Microsoft uses for the UWP apps. Ah, okay. Apex. Yeah, so it doesn't actually this website which is 
hitb.org. No idea who they are. Um, don't actually tell you how to do it, but they say just Google it, and there's lots of people out there. And Microsoft have not blocked it yet, so which is quite interesting. Yeah. I think they're hoping a lot of people get onto this so that they can kind of go, ooh, look, people are interested. Mm. God, yeah. Imagine playing, playing my Xbox on my PC. It's awesome. On your dodgy fantastic. laptop, you would play Xbox. I know. It would be great. <laughs> I know. It would be great. Uh, two new controllers coming out, eco-friendlier controllers from the uh, Series XS controllers. Yeah, they're made from, like, recycled resin or something. Yes, that's right, yeah. Um, <laughs> the guy does say, I think they're extremely ugly. This is geeky, geeklyrant.com. <laughs> so there's an electric vault controller, which is a greenish-yellow color. Mm-hmm. Yep, it is. And there's another one which is called Daystrike Camo Special Edition, which is a red and black and gray camo. I like the Daystrike one. Yeah. But the, the Vault one is yeah. looking really cool too. Like, you know, no one's going to disagree with the Vault one because it's just in your face. It is. It is green, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so they incorporate post-consumer recycled resins, which is just a strong blah, blah, blah. So that's quite cool. I'm ten- I've got an $80 voucher, you see, from... Um, uh, what's the name place? EB Games. So I'm tempted to get another oh, yes. controller because I'm worried I'm killing my current one <laughs> slowly. <laughs> well, yes, get get one of these ones. Get the bright green one. Yeah, it'd be cool to get something like that. Yeah, there's some cool controllers so coming out there. Yeah, they are. I like the first ones that came out. They were really smart. The first bunch, of, like three or four, that came out, they're quite smart. Ah, uh, the blue and the red. Yeah, I think the blue one was really cool. Ah, oh, yeah, the blue one looks awesome. Yeah. Next story. We're doing well. I think we're doing good pace. Yeah, this is a good pace. It's keeping people interested. Xbox Game Pass is already having an amazing April, it says here. I put this in because it's kind of crazy. Um, Outriders. Yep. Which is a pretty good, you know, pretty good game. Day one. Mm-hmm. Square Enix and all that. It's a big game. Uh, MB, MLB The Show. Now, this is massive, this game. So this is a PlayStation... Um, what do you call them? PlayStation actually made this game, basically. Yeah. And then released it on Xbox first. Mm-hmm. It's and kind it of... came to Game Pass Day 1. And Game Pass Day 1. No, it's a first-party Sony game. There you go. Um, it's kind of crazy. Did you see on... I saw something today, and there was a picture of them people playing bas- uh, baseball, and behind it was an Xbox advert Yep. for this game. <laughs> oh, that's uh, great. But wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So those two games there are huge, especially the MLB one that's massive. Yeah. And all the all the people, the insiders that are sort of listened to half heartedly just because they're right most of the time, they've said this is just the tip of the iceberg that we're seeing in terms of third party day and date on Game Pass. Oh, it's awesome. Like third party triple A's type thing. Yeah. It's great. It's perfect for me because I like playing games, so it's good that I can just play random games and go, Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. What's crap and I don't really care about it, move on. Oh, you should jump into MLB, tell us how it is. Oh dear, yeah. I like baseball games. Hmm. It's weird. It's quite soothing. I think that's what it is. Soothing. Yeah, it's something bizarre about it. But there's one play. What was that stupid? There's a stupid one, like a cartoony one that I was playing with one of the kids. Oh, Ruby. I kept beating RBI it. or something? RBI, yeah, maybe. It was a bit cartoony. And I played that for ages. I already got into it. So strange. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> Next story. Uh, oh, yeah, this is actually quite weird. So Nintendo Switch, Sony, PlayStation, Microsoft, Xbox consoles vanished from Chinese e-commerce platforms. Amazing amid smuggling crackdown. This mm. is off the South China Morning Post. Look at me getting all kind of international. International. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so offline and on, online and offline vendors have closed or removed listings from imported consoles and games. And a new smuggling crackdown this week. Chinese games have long turned to the grey market hardware to buy censored games and new consoles like PlayStation Five and Series X. So I didn't realise it was actually banned in China. Yeah. Yeah. And from what I understand, Microsoft is working with the Chinese government to release a Xbox, a Chinese version of the Xbox with a special Xbox store. Ah, with like um, two games on it. Yeah, two games. Uh, so they, but yeah, they have to go through government regulations and stuff and all the rest to make sure that they're not going to corrupt the youth. That's is right. what the Chinese government say is the excuse. Was it three T's, isn't it? I think? What T's? Taiwan, Thai, Tiananmen Square, and um, Tibet. Ah, yes. Yeah. You're not allowed to say any of those. Not those things, yeah. Crazy. Um, so they, they on Monday, they arrested 54 parallel importers and seized 78 million yen, or $11 million US worth of uh, alleged smug, allegedly smuggled gaming consoles, Nintendo, Sony, yeah. Microsoft. 
That's quite a bit. That's quite a bit, yeah. The Post said the total value of goods smuggled by suspects since 2018 was 3.38 billion yen. Yarn. Yarn? I thought it was yen, but it's not. It's Y U A N. Y U A N. Yawn. Yawn, (laughs) yes. So that's 389 million yawn in alleged tax evasion. So that's what the problem is. It's a tax evasion. That's what they'll get them on. Tax evasion will always get you, no matter what you it do. Is. You could be a, Even if the mafia. an upstanding citizen, but tax evasion. Or a famous actor. Famous actor, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so this is quite interesting, yeah. Because even Alibaba, didn't they get fined recently? Something I don't like, know. There's something happened with Alibaba as well, like last week, where they got fined or something. Oh. So. Okay. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Look at things going on in the world. I know. We're getting it all international. <laughs> <laughs> the Xbox Series X mini fridge is real. So the meme is no longer just a dream. Did you see this? Meme is no longer a dream. The meme is no longer a dream. So there was a uh, a Twitter contest, I guess you call it, or PR yeah, stunt. With Skittles. <laughs> Skittles and Xbox. And whoever won, if Xbox said, if we win, then we will make the fridge, a mini version of the fridge. And they have won, and they are going to make a mini fridge. Yeah. So we could get an Xbox mini fridge, which would be quite so cool. cool. <laughs> it's so funny. They got 50.5% of the votes. Yeah. Wow. It's amazing. It is amazing. It's so cool. Uh, 500 bucks, I reckon, it's going to cost. How much? Exactly. $500 <laughs> for, for a mini, mini fridge. fridge. Yeah. I don't know whether that's expensive or, or not. It seems a lot. No, it seems like a lot. For a little fridge, it seems like a lot. Yeah, but I mean, it's a fridge in the shape of an Xbox. Yeah, so it's got a plastic case around it, which looks like an Xbox. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you could put an Xbox... In, a, in your mini fridge. You could have an Xbox in your Xbox to call your Xbox. Xbox in your Xbox. Yes. Yes, you could, Kyle. That's right. Yeah, I know things about stuff. You do, don't you? It's, that has been <laughs> said before about you. You know things about stuff. I've got a white page, which is supposed to be a Twitter page I'm looking at currently. It's not loading. Oh, yes. Nice. Let's skip that song. You can now play every classic Halo on Xbox with a mouse and keyboard. Yeah. This is an interesting move. Yeah, today you can fire up your Xbox game console and play Halo with a mouse and keyboard. It's hard to believe I'm writing those words, that's what the guy says here. The Verge, <laughs> of course. Uh, yeah, so five years ago, a small room of first-party Xbox devs... What? The missed words here. I felt like... <laughs> basically said they're going to support mouse and keyboard. They need to sort out their English because there's words missing in that sentence. Well, you are reading The Verge, right? It says that I asked a small room of first party Xbox how they felt about supporting mouse and keyboard. Ah, there was words. It was me not reading correctly. Ah, uh, well, you can be forgiven. Thank you very much. I also, I also try not to look at the verge when I'm reading it. <laughs> I don't hurt my eyes. It took two years for them to get it working on the Xbox One, to get hmm. a handful of mouse and keyboard titles working in November 2018 updating. Update. Okay. Yeah. And now yeah. you can do Master Chief Collection. Which is basically all of them. Yeah, that's awesome. Except five. Poor five. It's like the red hit step child. It is. No one talks about five. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. Yeah, it's very cool. There's not much to say, really. It's just awesome. Yeah. Have you ever plugged a mouse and keyboard into your Xbox? No. no. I've never wanted to. I plugged a keyboard in because uh, I wanted to type my password in. But that was a while ago because now you can not have to do that. Now you can do a whole kind of mousey thing. On your phone. Phony thing. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, just on your phone. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I always had an Xbox. Yeah. I always had a keyboard under my. Um, what do you call it? Uh, place where I put my TV, TV console thingy. I would have put a keyboard under there, hiding away, just for that reason. Uh, just type. That's with amazing. It. Uh, uh, the story that never uh, was taking ages to load was actually Battlefield Six may come to Game Pass day one. Ooh, ooh, I know. That's actually quite interesting. I feel like EA might do it. You know, they've been definitely well, I mean, ramping up the games coming out. EA Play is on Game Pass, so. Yeah, but I I'm talking about see this happening. FIFA 21 came out. Um, what was the other one? Baseball, basketball, and 21 came out as well. NBA 21 maybe came out as well. There was a few 21s that are only just like not actually that old, have just popped up in Game Pass as well. Yeah, I won't put it past them because this would really get go against COD as well. This would help them against COD. Definitely, which they're struggling. Would definitely get a lot of people to move away from like COD Warzone and actually check it out. Exactly. Yeah, I don't think five was that bad. It was okay. I think people play it. I think people play it. V twenty twenty one. That's right. Yes, you could take that quote. Ah, yes. Okay. PlayStation and Xbox Series X stock disaster can be blamed on these one dollar parts, which I think is actually this to be changed to the the lack of laptops and monitors and everything out there is because of these one dollar parts. Yeah, the lack of just everything at the moment. Everything's insane. Yeah. Um. 
So what they're saying is, what is it? I think it's like a graphics card chip. This is the issue. Like a display adapter or something. Yeah, tomsguide.com has the information, which I read at the time read, and now I've since forgotten. <laughs> I read it, I promise. Oh, yeah, it's uh, part, overlooked parts like display adapters, adapters and tiny power management chips. Ah, yes. Which I guess everywhere, aren't they? Especially the tiny management chips and stuff like that. They're all over the place, aren't they? Yeah, that would be. Um, and I was listening to podcasts, and he was saying they, they actually do build stuff from China. They're saying they can get most parts, and there's all these liberal parts they can't get. And normally you don't worry about it because you can order them by the thousands, but now you can, and they're putting the prices up, and it's just a complete nightmare, he said. So, yeah, that's why I've got no stock. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, sucks. But I got all mine lucky, so I'm quite happy I got mine. Quite lucky, yeah, I think, we got ours. Of it. We got ours. We are stoked. Yeah, We can amazing. rub our faces against them. <laughs> I did think, actually, yesterday, I thought, what happens if it dies? Like, that's just... No, it gets played quite a lot. I know, I did think yesterday, I thought, that'd be a nightmare if it died, because it'd be, yeah... Yeah. Turn 10 no. confirms Forza Motorsport 8 test players can apply now. So if you go to uh, go to the final, just search for it, unless you Google it, you can actually sign up and go and play the alpha of Forza 8. Oh, Yes. It's quite cool. It's coming out. I don't know when it's coming out, though, because I think Forza 5 is coming out this year, isn't it, I reckon? Horizon 5. I don't know. Idea. I think maybe Playground's a bit too worried about Fable at the moment. Ah, oh, okay. Ah, they could do so... two games. They're pretty good. Oh, yeah, I'm sure they could, but still, who knows? Who knows? But yeah, so sign up. Jump in. I'm going to sign up. I like playing alphas. It's fun. Yeah, let us know how it is. Imagine how pretty it will be. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> yeah, that would be crazy. Yeah. Um, I've got a story here. Don't understand why I shared it. I'll read it, though. DX12 is getting a brand new SDK, a.k.a. Tools, codenamed Agility. Agility is purposely built to make implementation of DX12 Ultimate features easier. This is good news. It means that in order to get games running with ray tracing, it's going to be easier for the devs. Ah, okay. Well, that is good. And is Xbox built on DX12? Yep. DirectX 12 Ultimate and AMD's um, RDNA 2. Ah, that's right. So DirectX 12 Ultimate and RDNA 2 were built together in conjunction so that they they both rely on each other's features to maximize it. And that's what annoyed so PlayStation by, people. Yeah. So by putting out new tools like this, um, it's going to make games look even prettier. And be easier for them to make games look prettier as well. Yeah. So we're going to get really quick, quick, like quick dev or well, quicker development of games to look pretty. So there's a Xbox Game Stack live event that's happening on April 21st. Cool. And they so will that'll just about... be, yeah, all the in-depth stuff about yeah. game dev. Lots of big long words and abbreviations. DX12, U, RDNA2. C words. X going to give it to you. <laughs> Jeez. Death Stranding developer Hideo Kajami. Kajomi? Hideo? <laughs> Reportedly working on a new <laughs> Xbox game. Which of that poor man's name? Yeah. Hideo Kojima. Kojima. There you go. Hideo Kojima. I kind of said that in the end after you corrected me. Nami. <laughs> So this could be interesting. He made Metal Gear franchise and all stuff. So I saw someone tweet out today going Metal Gear 6 and then put mic drop. I was like, oh, that would be cool. That would be very cool. Because we need a Metal Gear decent one because I heard 5 is a bit poo. Yeah, people weren't impressed with 5. Well, he Although kind of did, it seems pretty cool. He did 80% of it and then got fired or something. So then yeah, they finished and then, it and it wasn't great. It wasn't great. But it's also... Hideo Kojima likes to make these really convoluted stories. Yes, so. that's like Death Stranding. Yeah, in yeah. which you don't actually know what's going on until you realize you're just a postman in the apocalypse. Yeah, so this could be interesting though. Gear 6? Oh no, so Metal Gear 6? Metal Gear 6? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it'll be quite interesting to see whatever he comes out with because there's legions of, of fans of his, like mm. diehard fans that will literally pick up any console he makes a game for, just for that game. Yeah. So imagine he did like a Japanese something for yeah. Xbox. That would be awesome. So that's definitely the way it's going because Microsoft's pushing massive into the Asian market. Yeah, they're having fun with it, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, next story. Crisis Remastered now has three performance modes on the Series X and S Ooh. and a new level as well. Ooh. Ooh, a new level. A new level, indeed. Uh, so you uh, have. They're taking it to the next level. They are taking it to the next new level. <laughs> You've got <laughs> ray tracing mode. Which is 1440 on the Series X, you have ray tracing mode, which is 1440p 60 FPS. You have performance mode, which is 1080 60 FPS. Or you have quality mode, which is 4K 60 FPS. On, are you I'd right? like to see. Yeah, I'm just dying. Sorry, coughing like mad. I'm just watching you fall off your chair nearly. Yeah. 
I'd like to see like pictures of the difference, you know, mm. on a 4K screen, because it's going to upscale to 4K no matter what, right? So I'd like to see the differences, like what they cut down to get to that um, ultra quality. Yes. Yeah, it's interesting to say that, isn't it? Because that 1080 performance mode is 60 FPS, but it'll be like 4K, slightly cut back 4K, 60 FPS. Maybe you just yeah, skip, like, some, skip, skip some frames, maybe. Well, again, it's still 60 FPS, isn't it? No, it's going to be like maybe less the stuff on the ground, like less, flu- less Textures. foliage. Yeah. Foliage. Um, foliage. Xbox Series X gets ray tracing at 1080p, 30 FPS. Performance is 1080p, 60 FPS. And quality mode is 4K, 6, uh, 30 FPS. Hmm. So you're still getting some nice prettiness out of it, especially performance mode 1080, 60. That'd be nice. Definitely. I mean, the Series S is a great little 1080p machine. Hmm. I thought it was limited to 1440. Ah, uh, they they started advertising it as a 1440p machine, but they've actually all the all the marketing has actually now changed to 1080p machine. No, but the quality mode on the Series S is a uh, four is 4K or 2160p. Yeah, yeah, but the actual Microsoft internal marketing and marketing of the Series S itself, uh, okay. they're they're aiming it at the 1080p market now rather than the 1440p that they were in the beginning. Okay, how interesting. Yes, and a new level as well. Um, it does say here. Uh, does it say where the level is? I read somewhere about where the level was. It meant nothing to me, so I just went, "All oh, right, okay." Because uh-huh. I haven't played any of the games, but yeah, and a whole bunch of p- patches and bug fixes and stuff like that as well. Oh, a new level called Ascension. Ooh, okay. You've played it, haven't you? Crisis. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you enjoyed it. Ah, it's an amazing game. Ah, if well. you can play this Crisis One, play it. It's so good. Crisis 2 is also really good. I feel like we got it on Game Pass ages ago, or not Games for Gold years ago or something. Probably, I feel like actually. I got it, bizarrely. I think Crisis 3 came on Games of Gold, actually, and Crisis 3 is okay. Okay. Interesting. Oh, I sent this one to Paul, so I shall talk about it. It's a D20 game, um, like Dungeons & Dragons game, called Astria Ascending. Ooh, okay. Oh, no, it's not. No, no, this is a different game. No, oh. okay, so everyone's talking about this game. I'll, I'll, re, I'll restart again. So Astria Ascending, everyone's talking about this game, and it's, it's an intriguing new JRPG game. Okay. Um, it's turn-based, so it's kind of like, I watched a video, it looks pretty cool. But the people are interested in this because it's got, um, you know, Hitoshi Sakamoto. Oh, I pause for effect there. So that's Final Fantasy XII. Um, someone I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce. <laughs> he did the narratives for Final Fantasy X. And the okay. Final Fantasy VII remake. Ooh, okay. Uh, and then um, the art is done by somebody, I just Akihiko Yoshida. Yep. Who did That's what I Final Fantasy XII Vagrant Story, Tactics or- Organ, Org, Tactical Org, and Hideo uh, Minabi, maybe, who's Final Fantasy VI, Final Fantasy XII. So they're backed by some serious knowledge yeah. and power there. Some serious titans in the JRPG world. Yeah. Um, the nice. uh, set in five cities, 25 dungeons, customizable heroes, side quests, mini games. It's a whole bunch of stuff on it. Yeah. People are saying this could be awesome, this game. If you're into those yeah. sorts of games, then this could be amazing. It could be. It could be really cool. Yeah. And I've heard some people talking about it saying this looks awesome. So yeah, I'm not, I'm no expert in this. No expert. Dynamic weather. There's all sorts of stuff. There's quite a good article. Adventurebeat.com is. It's quite a good article. Pretty in-depth article talking about it and a video as well. Yeah, I'm just busy watching the video now. Oh, it would be quite interesting if it wasn't um, side-scrolling. Yeah, well, this is why I say <laughs> this is not my sort of game, but just yeah. from reading the people in it, I'm like, oh, it could be quite cool. Like, the story-wise could be quite cool. Yeah, story narrative-wise would be fantastic, I think. Yeah. And if you can get past, maybe it's a really well done kind of side scrolling tech turn game. Yeah. Like, I mean, Ori is great. Yeah. Oh, side scrollers are awesome, but not normally starting like, you know, the turn thing, turn based games are normally a bit annoying after a while. Only for some. Only for some, exactly. Yes. You are a demigod, it seems. And you have a few chosen who can, do, whose mission is to preserve the harmony in all canon. Yes, it's a whole thing. The video is quite cool and what explains we, quite a lot. What we've it. always wanted. No, no, yes. Preserving harmony. Oh, this is interesting. Series X. I've actually got this story twice, I think. So, uh, so Xbox and Nintendo have got something teased for Inspire Insiders. It seems that Nintendo and Xbox are working together to do something this year. Yeah, do you want to know what the leaks say? Yes, go for it, yeah. I've seen some bits, but I can't really work out what they're talking about, so... Game Pass on Switch. Oh, yes. I I did see that. Yeah. Well, I suppose Games Live is already there, isn't it? Xbox Live is already there. What do you call it now? Yeah, Xbox, Xbox Talk? 
Xbox Warehouse. Xbox Network. Network, that's it. Xbox Warehouse. <laughs> Such a good name, Xbox. Oh, no. Oh, and then came back in. Next story. Next story. Forza Horizon full map leaked with insider screenshots. Forza Horizon 5, I think you mean. Yes, that's what I meant to say. Sorry. Forza 5 has leaked not like we're, um, the map. And everyone says it looks like Japan. Oh, that's amazing. I don't know how they know it looks like Japan, but this is the rumor. It doesn't look like Japan or it does look like Japan? I'm so confused. I don't, I don't know. But then there's someone with pictures and words like Yokohama, which is definitely Japanese. Yeah, no, that is very Japanese. Yeah. So they're from Microsoft Insider that shows a wide view of the possible FH5 map shown roads winding across Mount Fuji, Yokohama, Kanagawa. God, I'm loving these Japanese words today. And Gunma. <laughs> It's a Japanese day for you. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Mount Fuji. Yeah, right. Okay. Very yeah. cool. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's very cool. I scrolled down to the next page. So I didn't see Mount Fuji and then went down and went, oh, okay, yes. I do worry about the amount of drifting oh, yeah. they're going to expect us to do. But... Well, yeah, Tokyo drift, so. Yeah, it's going to hurt. Maybe I'll get better one day. Xbox celebrates acquiring Bethesda with a stepbrother's family portrait, which is quite cute. This is everywhere, but oh, I forgot on CBR dot com. Yeah, everyone knows that really bad movie called Step Brothers with Will Ferrell oh, and John Step C. Riley. It's not Step funny. Brothers is great. No, it's, it's hilarious. No, it's so There's bad. There's so much room for activities. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> it is great. Uh, Xbox Step is Brothers celebrating. Is well, no, it's bad. Just bad. Xbox <laughs> celebrating National Siblings Day. And it's acquisition of Bethesda by posting a hilarious photo inspired by Bill Farrell and John C. Riley's iconic photo from Step Brothers, 2008 Step Brothers. It's so good. It's one of the best movies ever. Okay. <laughs> and they're saying here they've got some more coming out through the month as well. So expect more of these. Yeah, it's going to be quite cool, I think. Yeah, they seem to be having fun with it, the marketing guys. Oh, definitely. Yeah. So that's cool. I'll keep See, going. Even Diabolic Jester thinks Step Brothers is great. Oh, no, but he has a, he's American. He doesn't count. They have no um, humor <laughs> thing going on. <laughs> you can't insult 90% of our listeners. Yeah, that's it. true. <laughs> um, there's a game called, coming out called Hood, Outlaws and Legends. Hood. Hood, as in oh, Robin yeah. Hood, I believe. Um, and oh. it's actually quite interesting. So what does you go around and you rob people or whatever you do? You steal gold from people. And then you can choose to keep the gold for yourself and do things like upgrade yourself or give it to your friendly villagers. And they can then after a while give you perks, which will be able to upgrade your stuff. So obviously the more money you give them, the more they upgrade you. And the more you don't, then the more you upgrade yourself, but you might get better stuff if you give them. The money. I don't know. <laughs> it kind of gives you a little bit of a morality kind of, Oh, do I really kind of want to give the money to the poor people? Or should I just keep it for myself and my new hat? Well, I mean, you can't argue with a new hat. Exactly. Exactly. Like, yes. I mean, sure, the village does need medical supplies, but these medical supplies aren't going to get me a new hat. No, exactly. It will actually affect my new hat purchasing power. <laughs> like, yeah, sure. Um, I feel sorry for you, the fact that you have what cholera. But um, just get look a job. at this cool hat. Just get a job. <laughs> look at my hat. <laughs> what <Mom and> has <laughs> I can see how we're going to really... play this game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry that you have dysentery. But, man, check but out this jacket. <laughs> New shoes? And these gloves. <laughs> and the gloves, they're matching. <laughs> Look, the gloves match the shoes, match the belt. Isn't that what, like, fashion tells us to do? It comes out on May 7th, so we can all discover whether we are like <laughs> us or like normal people. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, it does sound fun. Yeah. Lawnmower Simulator announced for Xbox and PC. Um, beta test begins soon. So I, I don't know if I said this, but I tweeted out at the people who make this game in a funny sort of manner. I said game of the year. And then one of the guys who produced the game, um, uh, what did he do? He said, he, he added it, he liked it, retweeted it. So I thought that was hilarious. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So maybe you can ask him for a free copy so yes. you can preview this game. <laughs> for my podcast, yes. <laughs> that would be brilliant. Yeah, no, that's cool. I thought it was good that they actually obviously picked up the hashtag and went, oh, thank you. Yeah. yeah free yeah, game. Yeah, cool. Or free, free game. publicity. I'll tweet at him. Yeah. Nice. That's, that's amazing, awesome. though. It's lawn mowing. How can it not be good? <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Maybe your definition and my definition for good are two different things. Oh, do you, do you not do lawn mowing? Oh, you haven't got a lawn. No. The only thing I lawn mow these days is this fantastic beard. So there's free games uh, going in <laughs> April. <laughs> uh. Deliver us the moon. Is one of them. Oh, I'm sad about this. Yeah, I was hoping to play it on my Xbox because with ray tracing, it looks amazing. Ah, okay. Uh, Wargroove is also disappearing. Okay, mm. and Gato Robot Roboto Robot Robot Roboto Roboto Gato Roboto. I don't know. Gato Roboto. I don't know. It's hard to yeah. say what it this is game is called. Say. Life is hard sometimes. Life is hard. Words and talking. Yeah. So this is really <laughs> sad for some people. Yeah, Deliver Us to the Moon, man. If you guys haven't played that, that game is well worth playing. When does it leave? You might run out of time. Uh, middle of April? I think I have. Oh, maybe we've got a day. Just do it tonight. Oh, yes. This is another COD story, because I know all the COD fans out there. There's a surprise. There's a Warface Warfare, Modern Warfare, Modern Warface update surprises players with tons of unexpected content. Um, <laughs> so since the release of COD of... Cod Black Ops. There's not been much going on in Warfare, but it seems they've decided to go and push a bunch of stuff. Oh, my screen's just done the same thing again. What is your problem? Oh, it's back oh, again. No. It's okay, it's back again. It doesn't say when the... Yeah, so I, I don't know. It means nothing to me. This is the problem. But people, there's stuff happening. I it's thought this had more interesting, information. Multiplayer maps are coming out. I wonder... Stuff for that. Hmm. you got to wonder, like, why are they pushing it all of a sudden? Because um, Battlefield 6 has been talked about, maybe? Look over oh, here. yeah, that's true. Yeah, so there's a... Uh, <laughs> What is it? There's a kill, like, there's a six by new six by six match called Al Rab Airbase. Uh, Drainage is a 2v2 gunfight map. I know I saw more information in here. And there's a 24 by 7 playlist, Kill House map. I'm not sure what that means. I'm sure someone does understand that. Yeah, someone out there is getting very excited and it's not us. No, but then Activision put the chair on the top by adding Call of Duty 4 Kill House map. Yeah. They put the chair on the top? Cherry. Cherry. Ah. Uh. I was wondering, Not who's chair. putting the chair where now? You put the chair on top of the kill house map. Ah, uh -huh, yes. The chair on top of the kill house map. Logical. Let's keep going. See, I'm not a Call of Duty player. No, that no. doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't mean... Uh, so there's a, someone's, who, someone sat down quietly and worked this out on PCGames.com. It would take 4,000 hours to beat every single PC game on the Xbox Game Pass. Hmm. Not How including, many days is that? Not including EA Play. Uh, well, not, not including EA Play. Mm. Okay, so 4,000 hours. 4,000 divided by. That's quite a long time. It's 166 days and 16 hours. <laughs> That's providing they don't add any games. Yeah. It's like if you didn't sleep or do anything else for half a year, you could play all the games on Game Pass. There's 251 games on Game Pass PC. This is not console, this is PC. So. Yeah, this is amazing. Uh, including not including EA Play, and how many is it EA Play? It's like a, I don't know, fifty games on EA Play, sixty games. Yeah, there's heaps on EA Play at the moment. Yeah, so that's what keeps someone quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just here we go, kid. But then Football Manager 2021 is 176 hours, but that's actually a lie because I've played Football Manager 20, no, 2012 possibly, and I've put in like 400 odd hours in that game. Yeah, but you're not playing to finish the game, are you? You you're can't finish the, the game. game. You can't finish it. It's impossible. Because the season finishes, you win the league, and then you go, I'm in the Champion League next year, so you get in the Champion League. You can't just keep going up leagues. At some point, there's like no more leagues uh, to but go there's up. Always, there's always some kid that you kind of get at 17 who's quite good, and you're like, well, he could be really good in a couple of years, so you kind of develop him, and then you get him into the first team. Then he scores really well for one season. Then he gets into the Europe, and you're like, oh. Be really cool to see if he does a place for England and scores lots of goals. That's like four seasons, five seasons worth of play there on his own. Man, okay. Yeah, so that's quite cool. Next story. Next story. Ah, ah, more premium. I don't know if I've talked about this before. So there's a uh, some sort of headphones coming out by someone called Bang and Olsen. Yeah, remember we spoke of the last new news we did. We spoke we did, about the we? leak. But this is and now oh. they've come out. March 20th, this is dated March 20th. This is confusing. Yeah, 400 bucks. 499 That's actually really good, though. They've got some good reviews, haven't they? Uh, I haven't seen any good. reviews for them yet. Oh, really? I thought people were saying they're really good. Oh, I need maybe to go have a look. It up. Maybe you are. For 499 you hope that for the same price as a Series X that they should be pretty good. <laughs> that was my initial reaction. I was like, I spent that much on an Xbox. I'm just yeah. reading. I think uh, I've got a mixed-up thingy going on here. 
I've got, uh, some, I've got like some stories. Hey, I'd like to, I'd like to give these banging offs and things a test. Yes. And just see what five hundred dollars worth of headphones sound like. Yes, oh, this is really good. So I've got a bunch of stories. Nice. Did we talk about crazy cozy groove grove? I don't think we did. Cozy groove, no. Cozy grove is like Animal Crossing if it was haunted. <laughs> hmm. Okay. So yes. ghosts instead of animals. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Um, it's coming out on Xbox soon. I thought I'd say about it because people were playing, still people playing Animal Crossing. And it sounds oh, like yeah, the perfect game Animal for Crossing. Xbox X Cloud as well. Yeah. On your Switch. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not going to talk about 2077. Oh, uh, Xbox Series X outsells Series S. Sorry, S excels, excels X in the Japan selling information. In the Japan selling information. It's really hard to speak sometimes. So they reckon they sold 1,200 units, which is the fourth best. Oh, okay. And of that, 850 were the Series S and 400 were the Series X. Interesting. I don't know. I'd love to know how many actually sell elsewhere as well, like here. Interesting. Do you think that that's probably as much as they can actually make, to be honest? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Outriders, although it's doing really well, so I've been struggling a little bit. Like the crossplay doesn't work and they had to turn it all off. Did you right. hear about this? No. So the crossplay doesn't work on Outriders, so they had to turn it off. <laughs> it seems like it was kicking people out, multiplayer. Some people were getting kicked out, so they turned it all off the last update. Um, oh, cool. And then they've turned it on again. This is um, And what's happened when they turned it on again is now they've deleted a whole bunch of people's um, inventory. Ooh, okay. Yeah, people are not that happy. I'm glad I yeah. waited, though. I can imagine. I can imagine what I would be quite sad, too, if it happened to me. Uh, yeah, I mean, if your inventory disappears, you kind of lose the reason to play the game. Yeah, they say we're good, we can get them back again. They've come back again. Oh, we can get them back again. You've not lost completely. Don't worry. I don't believe them. I know. <laughs> I know. Yes. So they've not been that great. Their, their um, release was terrible. For Outrider servers, all broken, wasn't it, when it first started up as well? People couldn't actually log in. Yeah, it was shocking. And then, of course, the um, the gaming gamers people decided to show off their typicalness you know, their typical entitledness and to provide death threats for the um for the developers as nice. per normal. Nice, classy. Because, I mean, yeah, very. I mean, if the game's not working, the best way to get it working is to, you know, kill the people or threaten to kill the people that made the game. Mm, of course. Yeah, pretty logical. Uh, completely logical. I don't understand the internet sometimes. No, it's just because it's the internet. Um, EA, EA are bringing out a new PGA Tour game. And it's big news. Oh, okay. This is a golf game. PJ? Yeah, I, I know what PJ Tour is. I just thought I'd check. I'm not, I'm not that much of a cretin. <laughs> okay. So it's going to feature the Masters and Augustus, Augusta National. And it's a big deal. So it's the first time since 2011 they've actually had these this tournament in the... Um, uh, in the game. Okay. And the Masters is obviously the main, the main thing that happens. Yeah. And have Augusta like in how- as well. Uh, yeah, as someone who knows nothing about golf, I know about the Masters, but I've never heard of Augusta. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, it's it's huge. It's one of the most famous of courses. Uh, okay. Hmm. And people just have little sticks to hit little balls into little holes with. That's right, yes. Hmm. Cool. Good on them. I know. It's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> Um, I'm just trying to work out if we care about the story. Oh, yeah, okay. So um, this was an accidental leak. Here, a Game Pass leak that may have happened. Oh, my screen's just turned off again. It's very weird. I never used to do this. Um, so someone has found out that Destroy All Humans is going to come out on Game Pass because of oh, a random cool. picture that appeared on someone's um, Xbox. Ah, oh, yes, okay. Along with the Blob 2 as well. Ah, oh, the Blob. Hasn't yeah. that been on Game Pass like in and out? Well, it says here it's also in the picture and it's not available on the subscription surface, so... Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I've heard of it or played it or something, but well, not played it, but heard of it. Yeah, I'm hmm. sure the blob has the blob been too. in and out of Game Pass. No, the that's not the point. The, the destroy all humans is the point, though, because that one's everyone likes that story. Oh, yes. yeah, game. <laughs> it does speak to people these days. It destroy does. All Destroying humans. all humans. Um, I'm just going to say a quick. Well, Age of Empires Four is coming out. On oh yes, have com- you seen some of the gameplay? Yes, well that's it. I've actually found four articles on com on comicbook.com with loads of stuff like gameplay trailers and previews and there's a preview event set for next month. 
There's an update. And it all just looks amazing. And it says here, now it's, and previous games get remastered as well. Oof. Yes. It looks awesome. That's yeah. Awesome. That's it. I'm done. I can't talk anymore. You can't talk. No. That's a, a lot of news. That was a lot of news. I think that's the most news news we've done. In a long time. Man. So, in an effort to try and um, make up for the amount of news that you have, I've taken the games of the last two weeks and sort of cut them down a bit so that only the ones that are interesting, in inverted commas, we talk about. In doing that, I don't think I've managed to cull the list as much as I expect. But we're going to try anyway, aren't we? We're going to go through these, this list of Yes, games. we are. I like, a, like to try that, yes. And we're just going to see how we go. So I'm going to go through these rather briefly. If there's something there that pops out at you, just yell out. Just okay. be like, wait a minute, this looks cool. This, this sounds, sounds cool. amazing. Please or, talk about this. Yeah, if you hear some buzzwords that you like, then just be like, buzzword, drink. I feel like I need some alcohol for this, but yes. Yeah, so while we wait for everyone to, to get their drinks ready to for the, the their buzzword glasses, drinking game. To refill their glasses, we say. Yes. We're busy Recharge. having an April Achievement Challenge at the moment. Yes. And you guys can still join. You can still jump in and you can still beat us at our own games. I suspect you could, yes. We have all the categories and all the info on our Patreon page. It's our pinned article. If you just go to patreon.com forward slash the Xbox cast, it'll pop up at the top and say, here's, here's how you play. Here's what you do. Come join us on Discord and tell us how you're going to beat us. <laughs> but basically in April, we just go for as many achievements as we can, the most gamer score, if we can all be Kingsman and our true achievements point difference. And we're going to see who takes the crown. Currently, Lee's sitting at number one, but not for long. Mm -hmm. If I didn't go to work today, Lee would be down at number three. Yeah, but if I didn't go to work today, I'll be at number one. Oh, wait a minute. I did go to work and yeah. I'm still at number one, though. So, you know. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, scores happen in a vacuum. <laughs> right. So that's my excuse. Okay. Yes. So, yes. Check us on Patreon. Check us out on Patreon to join our April Achievement Challenge or just follow along and join us in, in Discord to chat to us, to say hi, to be like, to give us some stick. Mm. Say, what's up, guys? Encourage us. Yes. Who do you want to win this me. year? I want me to win. Uh, yeah, of course you do. That's so selfish of you. <laughs> you sound like someone who would use the money to buy a new hat instead of saving some starving villagers. Uh, well, you know, get a job. <laughs> get a job. All right. New game. Right. <laughs> well, I mean, I can agree with you to a point, but I mean, what happens if the, the job is farming and the farms are not working? Just be better. You know, just... <laughs> <laughs> be a better farmer. <laughs> There's Lee's life advice for you. That's right. Brilliant. Yep. All right. So let's kick off with these new games, shall we? These are games from the 6th to the 16th. 10 days of new games. Oh, I'm keeping Lee awake. Whoa. Yeah. So, kicking off on April the 6th, we have Breathe Edge. One word. It's a weird name. Edge. I really like the pr it, the premise is quite cool, though. Or it could be Breathe the Didge. Breathe the, breathe the Didge. Yeah. Bre breathe the Didge. The didge. <laughs> it's an ironic outer space survival adventure game take on the role of a simple guy called The Man, who, might, who is just carrying out his grandpa's ashes to a galactic funeral and suddenly finds himself in the middle of a universal conspiracy. I don't know why it's ironic. No, I don't know either. It looks very much like a space building game, which I'm all about. Uh, yeah, this is what I think actually quite a cool idea, like the taking your ashes, your grandfather's ashes yeah. to a funeral and something happens and you're stuck in this conspiracy. It sounds quite cool. It does. It sounds like it could be a quite fun game. Next up, we have Lost Words Beyond the Page. page. Interact with the words inscribed, yeah, the page, like as in a book page. Interact with the words inscribed in the pages of a young girl's diary to solve challenging puzzles, tackle unique platforming segments, and discover an emotional tale set across the vibrant world of Astoria. They could have done better with that, couldn't they? It's like story almost. Feeling... It's close. Yeah. It's close to story, but I also have a feeling there's a lot of games set in Astoria. Like, looking at that name, reading that name, Astoria, it's not the first time I've read it. And this is, seems to be a completely different game. Do you think it's a bit like Estonia as well? 
Estonia. I've heard of Estonia. <laughs> Sorry, it's, it's an actual place, yes. Is that uh, Winnie the Pooh in that picture, is it? Um, I don't... It looks like Winnie the Pooh no, and Piglet or something. Kind of. It's a very strange-looking game. Mm. But yes, next up we've got Cozy Grove, which is what you were talking about. Oh, yes. Which is Animal Farm if it was haunted. Yes. It's a game about camping on a haunted, ever-changing island. You wander the island's forests each day, finding new hidden secrets and helping soothe the local ghosts. With a little time and a lot of crafting, you'll bring colour and joy back to Cozy Grove. Sounds looks like, like a Simone game, fun. actually. Sounds like a Simone game. Yeah. It also looks like a mobile game. It does look like a mobile game, yeah. Well, it's on like an Apple Arcade currently, so it is a mobile game. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. Yeah. That explains a lot. Next up, here's something interesting. Mm. What the dub? A local multiplayer party game where each player overdubs missing dialogue from hilariously awful B-movies, woefully outdated PSAs, and bizarre industrial forms with their own witty or just plain stupid dubs. This could be good. Oh, dear. It could be quite fun to play with friends. Mm. Next up, we've got Raven Sword Shadowland. Wow, this looks like a... This um, game... Wow. A wow. 90s game, doesn't it? Yes. This game has three different colors and they're all brown. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So you have the power to wield the raven sword and restore which was lost. But it looks like you're holding an axe. A, that's a crossbow. Is it really, though? I thought it was a crossbow. Then looking at it, it looks more like an axe. <laughs> <laughs> but if you look closely, you can see the bolt in it. Oh, is that the, the bolt? The bolt looks like a part of the crossbow yes. because the art is terrible. Wow. And you left this game in? Was that just so we could ridicule it? No, no, I left it in because I wanted to make my joke about having three colours and they're all brown. Oh, I see. Nice. Well, that was just a you, you joke. Laugh. Uh, uh, yeah. Next up, next we one. have Night Squad 2. Night Squad 2 is a chaotic arcade multiplayer game for up to eight players. You pick an eccentric nut and fight for glory with wacky weaponry. Wacky? Wacky weaponry. Hmm. It's like a top-down twin-stick shooter brawler type thing, it looks like. Could be quite fun for seven people. You know, you and seven of your friends. <laughs> Why have you got seven friends? I've only got like two. One. Get more friends. Oh, okay. By the way, does anyone want to be Lee's friend? <laughs> Lee's? Just at him, at him on Twitter. Yeah. I'll be your friend, Lee. I'll be your friend. <laughs> Speaking of friends... Talk about a segue. Nice. Next game is The Friends of Ringo Ishikawa. Ishikawa, yes. A high school gang leader, Ringo Ishikawa, trying to live through his last fall before graduation with his best friends. If you're fond of a good story fighting games and Yakuza-like aesthetics, you'll dig this open world beat-em-up. It's like Double Dragon from the arcade days, doesn't it? It is like Double Dragon. It's it's like Double Dragon if Double Dragon was in a high school. <laughs> high school, that's right, yeah. If it had more colour. Slightly more colour than Double Dragon, I think. Slightly more colour and in a high school. Uh, wow, but yes, what's... friends of... Friends. Next up. What is yes. what is this? Hitchhiker. Yeah, I know. I'm also just shaking my head. Wow. Yeah. A mystery game set along Lost Highways where your goal is to solve the puzzle of your own backstory. <laughs> He just nods. I don't know what to say. It just looks a bit wrong. It looks more like a, if this if I go into go this into the car with this guy, I would probably be dead. He'll probably just kill me and bury me in the desert somewhere. Yeah, he does look like the type to pick up hitchhikers and um and dispose of them. <laughs> Sorry. As a hitchhiker with no memory or destination, you catch a series of rides along a beautiful and strange landscape, tracking the mysterious disappearance of a person close to you. As your journey continues, you must decode the events of your past while confronting the dangers that lie ahead. This, sounds, this looks like it's a talking sim. You know, you get the walking sims where you walk through games and you solve puzzles or you just look at things. This looks like a game where you just get talked at. I Yes, I think. Oh, God, no, you have like multiple choice answers, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Talking game. Talking okay. sim. Next up, we have Rain on Your Parade. You travel the world as a cute cardboard cloud and ruin everybody's day. I don't know what to say, yeah. mate. I'm not sure what you've picked You're here. You're a cloud. Yes. Yeah. I, 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 the picture looked funny. Oh, okay. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> no, neither. It looks okay. like you just rain on things and it causes fire for it some like reason. It looks like paint. It looks like paint all over the it car. Does. Yeah. 
but that's the rain. That's you're raining on people's parade. Oh, you're literally raining on people's. Are you the little green cloud that's in the corner there with a smiley, angry face? Sorry, not the smiley face. Yeah, yeah. You are the, the angry cloud in the corner. Right. Okay. Wow. That looks really good. Yes. Yeah. That looks... Yeah, it looks like it could be a fun, quick thousand points. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, next up is Savage Halloween. In case your Halloweens have been anything less than savage lately, this time. You get to play Savage Halloween. Every year, the monsters are invited to the big 24-hour Halloween rave. Ooh. <laughs> but this time, no one came. Oh, no one came home. Oh. Because okay. an evil vampire used a spell to block the passage back to the afterlife. Because, according to him, the party could not stop. So he just wanted I broke a party. it up into about three sentences, but that description was one. He just wanted a party. That's all he wanted. Yeah. And suddenly the resistance is against partying. This is the first time I've heard of any resistance mm. being against partying. Sounds like the parentals, not the resistance. <laughs> no one can handle so much noise, goo, and werewolf hair on their clothes anymore. I mean, you can only have so much noise and goo on your clothes. Mm. I hate that. Yeah, it's just you get to a point and you're just like, enough. Enough goo. I need to go home. I need to go and have a shower. Just keep going. Mate. Keep going. Bye. Just, Keep going. Just... Sure footing is next. A fast and frantic infinite runner about four friends saving their world from extinction. The world of Computra is under threat from the evil Ram Raff star and his ferocious minion, Deletion Dave. Oh my god. <laughs> they are seeking to destroy the partitions that hold everything together. Wow. So, yeah. Do you think they sat Computer... with a whiteboard and wrote down lots of different computer words? And then went, right, we can make a game out of these computer words. So what I think they did is they wrote a couple words across. There's two spinny wheels, and they spin in opposite directions. Uh, And they spin, and then they match up. So they end up with one long word. Ram Raft Star is weird. I don't know how they got there. Computer would make sense. Computer and Deletion Dave. Oh, Deletion Deletion Dave is obvious. If I ever become a wrestler, I think my name's going to be Deletion Dave. And sure. my finishing move will be the control alt delete. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my god. All right, we're Let's almost there. We we are about halfway maybe. Oh my god. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, next up, the dark side detective. A fumble in the dark. Delouse your room with sage and pack your travel sized Ouija board. It's time to re enter Twin Lakes. America's 34th most haunted city. Join Detective McQueen as he puzzles his way through six chilling cases, risking life and pixelated limb to solve mm. the macabre mysteries that plague this poor town. Yeah, it's very 8-bit. It but is very He just looks like he's just passed out from enoughness. I just, you're not impressing me, these games. They're not keeping me awake. We're, we're going need... to start impressing you soon. Oh, with Heal Console Edition. No, see, this, this is another game of one colour. It's an experimental adventure game from the creator of Distraint series. What does that even mean? None of those words, words. mean anything to me. Uh, well, an experimental adventure game. That must mean something. <laughs> the adventure is experimental. Yes, I mean the Distraint series. That doesn't mean anything to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the narrative is driven by a strong and obscure atmosphere with instructions and dialogue used only sparingly. So in other words... It's the Dark Souls of adventure game. Oh, my God. It doesn't tell you what's anything, anything's happening. No, it doesn't tell you what's happening or how to get about anything or why you're using the telephone to pry the door open. Or why you're playing this game. It doesn't. Here we go. Now we're getting exciting. Ooh. MLB Show 21 Digital Deluxe Edition. Man, it's almost like it could have been made by EA with that name. It is quite special, that name, isn't it? Yeah. It's actually Microsoft well, names. Well, Microsoft were good at that. Oh, uh, yeah. Except Microsoft would have put their, like, 21 Digital Deluxe Edition version 2 with Cortana. Ultimate, please. Ultimate. <laughs> Ultimate edition. Yes. Ah, yes. <laughs> MLB The Show 21 is now on Xbox, in case you haven't noticed. Really? And you must be living under a rock if you haven't noticed with the amount of, of marketing they've put behind it. <laughs> but this is one of those tricky games where... The Digital Deluxe Edition is available on April the 16th, 
but the full, the other game, the, the normal version, the version that everyone buys, is available on April 20th. And it's coming to Xbox Game Pass on April 20th, day and date of release, really. Oh, okay. So like a special EA release day, isn't it? Yeah. So in case you don't know, there's a grid, and you yeah. sort of line up your console with the version you want, never, with what color shoes you're wearing, and the, this grid. the season that you're in. Now I'm sad because I missed out on this grid. Would have been nice to look uh, at this grid. Well, we can always make our own grid. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yes. Right. Okay. We're almost there. This is exciting. Super Ooh. Meat Boy Forever. Did you play the other one? I mean, the first one? No, I've never played Meat Boy. It's apparently really hard. It's so bizarre. I have played it. It's weird. Yeah. I mean, Dr. Fetus? Yes. <laughs> kidnaps Nugget? Yes. And you are Boy and Bandage Girl. Don't understand this game. So yeah, if you like um, Super Meat Boy, this looks like it's the next version of it. Super Meat Boy Forever. Forever. Is it like Duke Nukem Forever? I think it might be better, actually. Okay. <laughs> uh, finally, on this list of curated, curated and in inverted commas games, we have Tribal Pass. It's a tactical hardcore runner compromised of resource management and environment interactions. Make your way through the unfriendly wild. You killed that sentence, then. I did. (laughs) I I expected it to say environmental interactions. I don't know what you... (laughs) Someone went wrong. Sorry. (laughs) Yeah, completely. I'm just trying to roll with it. Just Mm, just keep going. Sorry. Just just keep going. Just keep reading. You make your way through the unfriendly wild, encountering a quick river, a herb, a human, and a beast of various dangers. A beast of various dangers. What? Well, I think that means that it's got claws and teeth. Yes. Various dangers. Claws and teeth. And a gun. Maybe it's got a sparky tail. Oh, yeah, and a gun. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's quite very, you know, quite a few different dangers. Yes, and it's a runner. Runner are like those subway surfer games and temple run. Yes, that's right. So I don't know how you have resource management in a running game. I, I just, I don't know. I'm so confused. And I'm confused as well. And that, we have managed to catch up on two weeks' worth of games. <sighs> I'm exhausted. How two about weeks' worth listening? of news, Two weeks' worth of games. My word. What a, what a nonsense. <laughs> what a nonsense, yes. What we did it, though. Nonsense. Yes, we did. Good job. You managed to stay awake. I'm actually quite impressed. I know. I'm a bit tired now, though. I'm a bit exhausted, actually, after a lot of talking. Did you look at the list of news we yes. did? It was ridiculous. It was insane. Like, there's so much news going on. Right. I blame you. I'm ready. I'm ready to go and have dinner because I came home from work and podcasted straight away. So, oh, I had dinner. time for dinner uh-huh. and time for a nap. Yes. So, very good. We had thank listeners. You guys for listening. It were very good listeners. We did. We had giving us abuse, which is nice. We had listeners and watchers on Twitch. Thank you guys. And we, the people that are going to be listening to the podcast soon, thank you guys for listening. Remember, rate if you like and sub if you love. Check us out on Discord, Patreon, Twitter, all the other nonsense. We have a link tree, so check that out. It's in our episode description. You click on that, and that gives you all the links. There's even, allegedly, a newsletter, which comes out every now and again. Oh, I haven't done that newsletter for a little bit of time. Yeah, I've noticed. Yes. (laughs) So if you want a newsletter, get Lee to hit you up, and he'll put all the news that we've spoken about in this episode. Oh, this will be amazing this week. Yeah, do it. Get the newsletter out. It'll be fantastic. Okay. Yeah. Other than that, thank you guys for listening. Do you want to tell them where they're going to find you, or should we just let them click on the links in the episode description? Just go to the xboxcast.co.nz. Yeah. All our, episode, all our links are there. At the xboxcast. Yes. Discord. Check us out on Discord. You can't miss us. We're called the xboxcast, and no one else is somehow. So. Yeah. So we are amazing. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Thank you, guys, for listening. We will see you all on the Xbox Network live thing. Yes, next one, Xbox Warehouse. (laughs) Xbox Discount Warehouse. (laughs) That's right. (laughs) (laughs) Xbox Walmart. Wow, you had to drag it that low, didn't you? Ah, yes, well. I could have gone, like, with the real obscure American one and gone the Xbox Piggly Wiggly. Oh, the Piggly Wiggly, I don't know that one. That was very obscure. What's a good Aussie yeah. warehouse? 
Uh, Kmart, Target, Costco. The Xbox Costco's Target. also American. Yeah, and Target. Yeah, okay. I think we should get out of here. People are now thinking yeah, we're just babbling talk. crap. Yes. So thank you guys for listening. Goodbye and good night.